Well, good afternoon, YouTube, and welcome back to Fat Cat Collections. And today I'm really excited to share with you guys another smart home tech product. And today I want to share with you guys a, um, a speaker accessory from the company 97. This one is called The Loft. Um, if you're familiar with the Google Home or your Amazon Echo, whether it be the Echo Dot or some of the full-size versions, um, or like I said, the Google Home, um, these companies make several different versions of their speakers. And it seems to be, I believe, uh, there's three of each. You have your standard Echo Dot, which is basically your very, very small um, you know, smart home assistant or slash hub, because really what these devices have, have, have turned into are smart home voice activated hubs. And they really, like I said in other videos, they play well with others. And so I own both these devices and I opted to get the Google Home when I, when I first got it because it was mainly uh, set up to uh, mainly do music. Um, it, the Alexa, say it like that, she don't respond. Um, so anyway, I got, I got her the Echo Dot in order to be able to communicate uh, voice commands with some of the uh, smart bulbs I have by LifeX. Well, as time, and then I got the Google Home primarily for just for listening to music. Well, as time has gone on, both these devices play well with a lot of different companies, a lot of different interfaces, and really they've, what they've turned into is a voice-activated smart home hub. And at this point, unless, like I said in my other videos, unless you are going to be using um, different protocols like Z-Wave or, of course, um, uh, some of the radio frequency protocols for smart home activation, there's really no point in getting a smart home hub anymore because these really play well with many many different devices out there whereas some of the other hubs out there are very limited because they want you to buy those specific products where these are, are almost like I would almost call like open source which is not really the right term for it but they play well with a lot of the cheaper inexpensive brands from Sonoff uh, to uh, naturally LifeX which is not a cheap brand but many many other brands that some of the other high end or, or what I consider not high end but more expensive hubs uh, don't really work with, you know, like the Samsung Smart Things doesn't work with um, the Sonoff plugs. So um, the Google Home is a fantastic device, and so is the Amazon Echo. Now, what 97 does is they make an accessory for those two devices, and I believe they make one other accessory as well uh, for, and I believe it's the, I believe it's the Amazon Echo as well, but not, don't quote me on that, um, but. Anyway, what the devices uh, do is it basically make your Echo Dot or your Google Home, the standard size one right here, which is what I have, not the, the mini, not the, the Max that they just came out with, but the standard size Google Home right here, as you can see, they make the, these devices portable, where you can see that this device right now is actually hooked up. Hey, Google, cancel. The voice activated speaker is hooked up, connected to the internet, and it's on battery power. And what this device is, this is called the Loft. And this is a fantastic device. If you have a Google Home, this is a no-brainer. You have to pick this up. Um, now, I did a review on the um, the one they make for the Echo Dot. And I'm going to re-review that because I think it's such a great product. I want to share it again with you guys. Um, if you guys have this device, this is a no-brainer to get it. I I'm telling you, this is fantastic. And basically, all it is is a battery pack and replacement uh, speaker, or not speaker, excuse me, it's a battery pack with a replacement speaker cover um, available in three different colors, and this allows you to take your device on the go, you know, naturally you have to be connected to your Wi-Fi network, or a Wi-Fi network, but it allows you to take it on the go, move it around, and take it with you room to room, or in your backyard, or out front, wherever you want to take it, as long as you can get signal, you can still get music with this thing. And uh, it'll last up to eight hours. Now, I have not tested the full life of the battery yet, because I just received this product, but I can tell you I've been playing this since noon today, excuse me, 1 p.m. today, and right now we have four status lights on the front. This shows your battery life. We're still at four, so this thing can keep going, and I played music for at least an hour and a half on it, and it hasn't even moved. Um, now, I believe the battery size on this is a, I believe it's a, let's see what it says here, it might say on the bottom here. It's a 4,200 mega amp, mega amp battery. So I'm surprised. I thought it would actually be bigger, and it's amazing that it, it's uh, that it lasts that long, and it hasn't even moved one notch off the power uh, the power display. And basically, all it does is you take your factory Google Home, you just kind of twist and pull gently, it pops right out because it's only the factory grill is only being held on by a magnet. And what this does is replaces the base and the grill. And this is really nice construction. The quality is fantastic. It's got a rubberized bottom. Um, the grill is available in three different colors. You can get the silver, 
uh, the black, of course, as you see here, and of course, a, a copper color. Um, they went ahead and sent me the black, uh, which I think is kind of nice because it, it kind of lets, uh, you know, uh, people know if, when they see it that it's, it doesn't look like the factory Google Home screen. Um, so, and I have that right here. If you, I mean, you guys have seen this before, but the one they send you with this is actually, uh, it sits quite a bit lower, so your Google Home will be taller with this device here. And, uh, you know, the factory was just basically made of plastic, whereas this is actually all metal. Um, it doesn't affect the sound quality at all. Um, and uh, you still have all the functionality, but it's portable. Now, there's a button on the front right here, and I believe that right there is your... I believe you can probably... Let's take a look here. Hey, Google. All right, so that is the power button, so I just turned her off. So in the event that you wanted to, I guess, you know, keep this portable and turn it on and off when you want, I like these to connect, turn on all the time. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that back on. So just press and hold. There we go. So we power it up. And now, of course, she is activated and coming back on. And she will connect uh, to the Internet again and we'll be live and well here. Uh, so as you can see, the power lights are on top. So I guess the, the, uh, the point of that is if, let's say, you were taking this on vacation or taking this in the backyard or, or wherever and you just wanted to uh, conserve the battery life and not have it stay on if you weren't connected to your Wi-Fi network, you could turn it off. Um, like I said, I leave mine on all the time. And as you can see, we've rebooted and we're back up and running. I think it's kind of a really neat feature as well because it allows you to reboot your device without having to pull the power cord out like you would normally have to do if uh, it was plugged in. Um, in addition to this, once you put this on here, you use your factory power cord and it plugs in exactly like the other one that did and you just leave it charged. and It'll charge up while, while it's being plugged in and then when you want to take it on the go, you can take it on the go. And I have to tell you, this is fantastic. Now, I went ahead and put up Christmas lights today. I was out front of my, of my property and they're in front of my house, and I had this playing some Leonard Skinner out there, and uh, I was rocking out, putting up Christmas lights, and it was fantastic. And when I moved to the garage, I carried it with me. So this is a great device. Now, of course, naturally, you have to be within range of your Wi-Fi network, and I have a really good router, so I haven't tested the distance with this yet, but I know I can get signal for at least 20 feet from my house with full strength. I have a very, very high-end Asus uh, tri-band router. It's a 3200 series, so that does help. And, of course, distance... Uh, will depend on your router and, of course, the home that you live in. But um, I am blown away with this device. I think it's absolutely a fantastic product. Uh, not many people make anything like this from the Google Home. Matter of fact, I haven't been able to see, I haven't seen anybody making a device like this. And some of the other battery packs I've seen for, like, the Amazon Echo version are very, very clunky. And the one that they make for the Echo, it makes it look like it was a factory, uh, it makes it look like it was factory installed in this thing. So these devices are really great. This company is doing great things. And I'm just really excited to have um, to, for their generosity to have sent me this, uh, for me to share it with my, my uh, subscribers, and for me to enjoy it because this will get lots of enjoyment. Uh, so that's about it, guys. That's the Loft by 97. Uh, just give you another cl a little close-up shot here of what she looks like. Um, it looks factory, of course. It fits perfectly. Um, it's, it's not sloppy. It feels like it was meant to go on this device from the factory. Um, and it doesn't surprise me if Google will turn around and make one of these for their device at some point or integrate this into the device because it really, really is an awesome product. Um, in addition, I forgot to mention, when you actually get this device and you put your Google Home in there, just one word of caution. Um, like I said, the other one, just kind of give it a little twist and it pops right off. There's magnets holding the factory one on, and this works off the same way. The only difference is this that you don't twist. So there's a plug on the bottom of this, and what you it's like a mini plug, basically. Not like a USB, but like a, just a mini normal power adapter you see on a laptop. And what you do is you make sure you line it up and you just push it in. You do it gently. It, it's not gonna, you're not going to have to force it. Do it gently and then the magnets will catch and you'll feel it snap in. And that's about it. You're up and running and you got your Google Home with you anywhere in your house, uh, in your backyard, next to the pool if you have a pool, in the garage, wherever you want to take it. you got your awesome sound quality to go with you. So, uh, like I said, a fantastic device. And I just want to thank 97 for sending me this product. Uh, this is definitely a product that... Um, if, I didn't, if they didn't send it to me, uh, I would buy this product myself. Luckily, I was fortunate enough to get this as a sample, and uh, I'm, definitely gonna, I'm definitely enjoying it. Uh, it's, like I said, it's great to be able to take this outside. And, um, you know, because like in the past, like when I've washed my car in the summertime or, or worked in, the, in my backyard, 
you know, you're getting dirty, and I always have myself, you know, to change a song, going into the garage, having to hit advance, or, you know, if you're using Bluetooth with your phone, I have that, have that option for my backyard, or, you know, my garage, listen to music like that, and you're always having to go back or pull out your phone and do that. This, it's like your voice activated everywhere you go with the Google Home, and um, you just have to shout out what you want to listen to, turn the volume up or down, it's it's fantastic. It's a great product. So uh, once again, I just wanted to share that with you guys. This is again the Loft by 97. Um, definitely pick one up. Get one for your Google Home if you got a Google Home. It's a uh, oh well hello. It's a no brainer as far as I'm concerned. So if you like the content, guys, remember to subscribe to the channel. I do appreciate that. And uh, if you want to pick this up, I'll put a link in the description uh, where you can purchase this through my eBay or Amazon links. As always, guys, have a wonderful day and have a good night. Take care.